What is up guys, it's Crocia or Shadow Crocia here, and today I have a really special video for you guys. So, as it's March 3rd, the Awakening DLC dropped for Xbox and PC, a month after PlayStation, of course. So, as soon as I could, I got on, played with some of my Shadow Clan buddies, got to play all four maps, one after the other. Nice succession, really fun. So here in this video, I'm going to rank my favorite, from most favorite to least favorite, of these four maps. So, first up, Skyjacked. Um, it's one of my favorite maps in Black Ops 2, so of course. It was my favorite map that they brought back in this pack. Um, really happy they brought it back. Um, so some of the pros I thought about it. Really nice, really map. Of course, it's the good old map that it was in Black Ops 2. Uh, you know, same things, same location, same basement. The wall runs on the side were a neat addition. But that also brings me to the next point is that it was really hard. You know, no good place to boost. It seemed like this small boots on the ground map like it actually was and is. Also, when I played, not a single person went on the bottom of the map besides me, but that was the same on Black Ops 2, but this really seems like pointless to have part of the map that no one uses. So, number two was Rice. So, this was a surprise to me. I didn't think I would like it as well with videos I'd seen of it of other people who played it on PlayStation, but really an interesting range. Uh, I really like the center of the map is really cool with this big octagon. Um, some of the things about the water, the effects are pretty neat, it wasn't what I expected, and it really reminded me of like YMD and some of my favorite snowy maps from like the original Black Ops or Black Ops 2 again. However, I felt like there were some areas that was pretty small, not too many long lanes, and also it was one of the, you know, a pretty white map, like the rest of Call of Duty maps, you know, not very colorful. So that segues right on to Splash, which was my third favorite one. Wasn't bad, but I didn't like it as well as the other two. Um, why I liked it so much was because like it was really colorful just like I said with Rise some of these maps are pretty bland you know just white just brown just green and this one had all these cool oranges and pinks and yellows um the slides were kind of a neat idea also there's amazing detail in the little surf shops the pirate places I thought that part was really neat definitely showed they put some time into it however it was really small not a single long lane um also, I didn't like how it was small in the middle, but then on the back there's these huge, giant open areas that I just seem really weird to me. Finally, number four, we have Gauntlet. All I can really say about this one is yuck. Just gross. Um, I thought it was a neat idea of having the different biomes, but it just didn't play out too well. Uh, the ice in the middle was really neat, and so just like a snowy ground, they had like chunks of ice, that was cool, but those biomes made it really confusing. And it was a short lane, there wasn't really like a clear area of where you're supposed to go. It seemed like when if you sat for one place for a certain amount of time, there's like 18 different directions that would come and get you. I just felt like it was so chaotic. It was like something, I definitely need to learn it. Um, I just did not enjoy it playing that much at all. So overall, I was really pleased with this map pack. It was nice and refreshing. I mean, three out of the four maps, that's a pretty good ratio. I definitely think if you're a really hardcore Call of Duty player and you play a bunch, it's worth getting. It's a nice refresher compared to, you know, all the normal maps you've played about 100,000 million times from now. So, thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, please hit that like button. It really helps if you want to see more. See you guys later.